And Governor Andy Bashir continues to deal with calls to lift restrictions so businesses can reopen. And tensions were on full display yesterday in Frankfurt when a protest coincided with Governor Bashir's daily news conference. LAX 18's Claire Kopsky continues our coronavirus coverage this morning. She is live in Frankfurt. Claire, good morning. Chris, good morning to you. It was a spirited evening here at the Capitol as the governor read the latest case statistics for the Commonwealth. About 100 protesters stood outside the briefing room chanting, you are not a king, we will not kiss the ring. Now, protesters later told LEX 18 they did not know the governor was reading the latest death count for the day when they were chanting those words. Now we're told that it appeared people in the crowd were feeling a great deal of pain and frustration. These included small business owners that had to close their shops, workers who had been laid off, and people whose futures are suddenly bleak. But the governor warns that loosening restrictions too soon could have deadly results. You have a relative that went to open a business and before he can even open it, they shut it down. So all he's doing is paying rent doesn't have an opportunity to have any income come in. And the damage that they're creating by shutting down the economy is going to be far, far worse than anything that the coronavirus would do to us. And I don't know on the broadcast, there's some, there's some noise in the background. We do have some folks up here in Kentucky today, and, and everybody should be able to express their opinion that believes we should reopen Kentucky immediately right now. Folks, that would kill people. It would absolutely kill people. Now, the governor said it is not his job to make popular decisions, but instead correct decisions. And while protesters were calling for loosened restrictions, some of them were wearing face masks and some of them were also practicing social distancing. Chris, back to you.